So what's up guys, we are at Kochi Station. Uh, so this is our second to last stop along this whirlwind Shikoku trip. Feeling very nauseous at the moment because there has to be one of the roughest train rides I ever had between Zensuji and here. Oh gosh. Uh, I've always been prone to motion sickness. It's one of the reasons I don't like traveling long distances too much. That's why I prefer walking everywhere. Since coming to Japan, usually trains are okay. Uh, there's only been a few odd occasions where it is not. So usually the way we shall combat that is just to look at sceneries and stuff. So, you know, just look out the window and just try not to think about it. So the problem with this particular one was that because we were crossing through the mountains, there was no scenery. We were basically just being surrounded by trees the whole time and tunnels. That was the other issue as well, as I usually like to listen to music when on trains, but I hate it when we go into tunnels because all it changes the ear pressure. It just makes me feel sick when that as well. And then to top it off, I've never seen so many people moving in the train before. And that just triggered me as well, so. I've been here for about 10 15 minutes now i'm just sitting here just trying to get back to some normalcy behind me over there is the tourist information center uh, i want to go get a bus pass for that for tomorrow and so the plan today we'll leave our luggage at the hotel and then we'll go to the castle nearby in regards to Sensuji and the Motoyama, which is the two places that I went to for work. It was pretty good. I took a few videos over my other camera, but you, know, you don't hear much from me for that because it's more for work purposes than anything else. Anyway, I'm just gonna rest here for a bit longer. Once a few better, I'll go get a bus pass and then we can start our Kochi Lake the trip. Finally checked in my hotel room. This that's one of the largest hotel rooms I've ever stayed in. That's many for a person. The bathroom is not bad either.
So what's up guys, we're currently at the top of Godaisan uh, at the observatory deck, just looking at the view of Koji. So far I'm really enjoying this city, I feel it's probably one of the most lively places I've been to so far on this trip. Um, could be because I'm living quite close to the station area and quite close to the shopping arcade, but everywhere I've been to so far it seems very lively. Um, which is a far cry from some of the other places, especially in my body. So today is a bit of a late start because in the morning we had some work related things we had to do. So currently it's about 12.30. Um, I said, I'm just taking a few time lapses around the area. I don't think we'll be doing too much today. We're just going to be exploring this particular part. I was initially thinking of maybe trying to hit two of the 88 temples today, but one of them is a bit further out. Someone recommended to me that the Botanical Gardens here is a must-see, which I wasn't planning to look at. Since I'm here, I might as well uh, make full use of everything. So once we're done taking time lapses at this area, we'll hit up the temple nearby, which is the 31st temple of the 88 Temple Pilgrimage, and then we'll hit the Botanical Gardens after that. This anyway, let's enjoy the day.
Oh, that was an interesting botanical gardens. Now I'm not necessarily one for flowers and stuff, so I don't really spend too much time. So I kind of skimmed through it because I did kind of feel like I might have enough time to hit one more temple. Yeah, if you are definitely into nature and that sort of thing, I do believe this is worthwhile. Yeah, so my initial plan was after we finished the botanical gardens, I would take the bus back to the train station, then hop over to another temple, which is the 30th on the 88th temple pilgrimage. But then I realized that by the time the bus arrived at the train station, I only had one minute to catch a train to the actual temple itself. I could have waited 45 minutes at the train station for the next train, but then that would only leave me like 15 minutes at the temple and I wasn't quite sure it was worth it going all the way there just for 15 minutes. So because of that I actually ended up coming back to my hotel and just chilling out the rest of the afternoon. Ended up having some nabe, I believe they call it a nabe yaki ramen, which basically just means ramen cooked in the nabe pot. Delicious, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so that basically concludes the Kochi part of the trip. And I know it wasn't very long. In hindsight, I probably should have planned something for tomorrow as well. Because initially, the plan was that I would be working the whole day on Friday, come down at night, then I'll be working the whole day today, then that leaves tomorrow to travel. But then the weather forecast said that tomorrow's weather is going to be shit. I ended up finishing work early both Friday and today. So I took the opportunity to come down to Kochi early yesterday and then went to the castle. And then today I did the opportunity to go up to the observatory and all that. So I did not actually have much else planned in addition to that. So I know in Kochi there is a famous beach as well. I didn't get to go there. Of course, like I said, the 30th temple. There's a few other temples as well. It's a bit harder to reach, but they are in the area. But that basically just means that there's something for me to come back to Kochi for. So yeah, so tomorrow morning I have work again. <laughs> but then after that, I'll check out the hotel and then we'll move on to Tokushima. I have nothing planned for tomorrow afternoon. By the time we arrive in Tokushima, it should be about 3 44 o'clock. So I think I'll just check into the hotel, do some laundry, maybe go have some Tokushima ramen. Unfortunately, Tokushima's weather is not looking too good. Uh, it's not going to be like terrible, terrible rain or anything. It's on and off rain, supposedly. So in Tokushima, there's only a few more things we want to cover. First one is the whirlpools. That is what I've already mentioned is one of the bucket list items I have before I leave Japan. So I'm really glad. They have the opportunity to knock that out. Then once we're done with that, there are six more temples that I want to visit in Tokushima. Unfortunately, they're in a slightly different part, so I kind of split them into two days. In hindsight, I probably could have cramped it all in a single day now that I know how long I spent at each individual temple. Tomorrow, I probably won't be doing much. Like I said, I'm just going to do laundry. Monday, I'll have a meeting in the morning and then we'll do the whirlpools. Tuesday we'll do three of the temples in the morning, then in the afternoon, I think I'll take it easy, maybe go watch a movie, uh, I, heard, I hear Eternals is on, I don't know whether it's good or not, so far I've not really been impressed with the trailers, but I just want to have a look to see how it's like, and then the day after we finish the last three temples and that'll be it for the Shikoku trip. So, might as well go into a bit of introspection so far. Uh, this has been a much needed trip. Uh, I know I did Kyoto last year, but that was sort of still, you know, with COVID times, still a bit unsure what to do. And a lot of the things I've done there, I've done before. I'm very familiar with the city. Uh, so it was mostly just expanding out to the north part of Kyoto that I haven't really been to before. But otherwise, the stuff I've already done. This particular one, yeah, Matsuyama, what we did, I've mostly done before apart from the temple hopping. Um, but everything else after that has been brand new. It has been a much needed breath of fresh air, if you like, considering that I've basically been stuck in my apartment for the last year and a half. It's been good to get out. Really, really good to get out. Try different food, different experiences. I only wish that I did have someone to travel with. This is probably the longest trip I've ever done solo. Usually when I do solo trips, it's when there's a conference on and then I spend like maybe three days by myself just traveling first and then meet up with some friends later on. Um, but this is the first time, it's almost two whole weeks of traveling all on my own. But I've really been enjoying it so far. 
Uh, I can't wait to see what Tokushima brings. So anyway, that's it from me for today. Don't know if I do a video tomorrow. I'll at least see you guys when I do the Whirlpools. Good night.